Hello, it's Mark Matosha here from Markham 3D, and today we're going to be talking about the free blender add on Cell Fracture. So, the way to enable it is we go Edit, Preferences, and up in the search field, Cell. Let's turn that on. Bam. So, from here, what we do is we can go Object, Quick Effects, Cell Fracture. And so, this brings up this menu. From here, we can set how many um, pieces this is going to fracture into what kind of noise it'll be, kind of uh, which way it's going to be mutilated. And I'm going to pretty much leave everything default. However, because we're using the default cube and we've set this 100, we actually only get about eight pieces. So if we come down here, we can see that we've got six of nine. So maybe we only got six pieces out of that. Now, the reason for that is, is all about geometry. So if I delete that, if we have a look at the geometry, we've got barely anything. If I go subdivide, 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 subdivide with W, and now we come into object, quick effects, cell fracture. We've got 100, noise, beautiful. And so now we've got a lot more. So if we come down here, we've actually only still got 70. So we still got to break up that fa uh, the faces even more. However, kind of boring. Cool, I made a cell fracture, nothing really happens. What we can do from here, is I can go into object mode, rigid body, add active. And now obviously if I play, nothing happens, kind of just drops through the sky. So let's just delete this default cube and let's go back to frame zero. I'm gonna shift A, add in a plane, scale that out, G, Z, and just move that down. Go back into object, rigid body, add passive. Now this um, the rigid body can all be done through here, uh, can be done through the physics tablet, but we're just doing it through quickly through there. So now if I go play, blah, sick. What else can we do? So let's jump over into a new blend file. So let's go tab into edit mode, let's scale this up, scale on the X, and I'm gonna add in a few edge loops with control R and mouse wheel. There we go, let's select all that. W, subdivide, subdivide, subdivide. From here, I'm gonna go into objects, quick effects, cell fracture. Let's bump this up to about a thousand and we'll see how we go. Random uh, noise will be one. Let's leave everything else as default and press OK. So now I'm gonna come in and select my default cube here and I'm gonna delete that. We'll go into wireframe mode, Z wireframe and box select. Let's just make sure we get everything. From here, I'm gonna go into the physics tab and, type, uh, and enable rigid body. Set it as active. And obviously now if I press play, it's just gonna fall that one piece. So let's go back to frame one. I'm going to object, rigid body, copy from active. And now what that's done is applied all these settings to all, everything else that's been selected. If I press play now, everything will fall. So let's stop that. What we'll do is go into dynamics. I'm gonna turn on deactivation and expand that. Start deactivation. I'm just gonna tick that. From here, object, rigid bodies, copy from active. And now it doesn't matter what we select, they've all got the same stuff. So let's now go back into solid mode. I'm gonna scroll out and I've already got a wonderful little tube here that's ready to spin. From here, I'm gonna go into rigid body. This is going to be passive and it's going to be animated. Now if we press play, bam. <laughs> Excellent. What we might do is let's just throw in a mesh plane here, scale that out, G, Z, push it down. And let's have this as rigid body and that's a passive. Then hopefully when we press play, everything just explodes. So this is probably intersecting those bottom faces. So we'll move it down a little bit more. Bam. Living the dream.